Welcome everybody to my first Create 0.3 tutorial and I thought I would start out with an automated way to sync up a number of uh, hose pulleys to um, suck out big chunks of water. I was watching a live stream recently where he was doing the exact same thing in Draenei and Guardian Temple however he had to turn each hose reel one at a time and sometimes he would overshoot from what he was doing. So the left and the right here function the same way essentially, except over here we're using a rotational speed controller because it's just more compact and neater. These are just so you can see the speed and stress units. While over here, if you're not that far ahead and you haven't got those components, basically a windmill with four sets of um, gear ratios will get you the same thing. So the way this basically works is you have um, a windmill at one block, really efficient, compact, compact. And so with the rotational speed controller, you want to get it to have a revolution of 16. And so with the gear shift here, you can change the direction. Obviously I could just reverse it here, but if you don't have this, and you're just doing straight up gears. So the way this works is that at the moment, I've got it set up, so the lever rotation. So if I hit this, because the speed set's 16, it um, has enough time to go one block lower before it turns back on and stops the rotation. And so if I set it up and hit it, it will go up by one and so on and so forth. So we'll put that down there because we want to drain. I've got the arrows for the pump set here. So using a wrench, you could just switch those around. And so back here, you can't unfortunately link this to here since the stress is way too high since this one windmill rotating at 16 is uh, maxing out on stress capacity. So if we set this to down and lower it so it's all the way to the bottom. Since the way I imagine you're using this is that this would be like into the ocean so it would be an infinite water source and this would be your guardian area that you're sucking out water from. And as you can see here it's just going to keep pumping the water out. And since this is too small to be an infinite water source, what we're going to do is we're going to flick it so it's set to up, push the button so it goes up one neatly, and then it'll just start doing that, which is a lot more, you know, simple. And so I've got two ways to show it here. You could use encased chain drives, as they don't have any stress requirements. However, as you can see here, if we just look over here, so this is set to a speed of 16, which is what you need to have it pull up just enough for one level of water and then here we've got the stress impact which is low it's pretty much um, not visible using a windmill and as we can see here if we raise it up one more um, there we are it's filling the water it's pretty simple and this way you can't accidentally have a pump get too far down compared to another one it's all synced up but otherwise it's as simple as that You've got your your reels, or we take that off so I can actually see the names. Yep, so if you've got your hose pulleys with your pumps in between set to whatever way you want to pull the water through. You've got your mechanical belts on the shafts that so they all rotate the same direction. You've got your clutch <coughs> with just a simple vanilla vanilla uh, redstone signal inverter connected to a um, gear shift. So with the redstone signal on and off, it changes which direction the uh, rotation's in. And then in this example here, we've just got a speed controller, basically it's just so we can um, ratio up this because this rotates at 1 RPM and we need 16. And if you're not that far ahead, just over here, you've got 4 sets, so from 1 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 8, and then 8 to 16, same principle. The only thing I'll change if I was building this on an actual large scale would be to um, have enough windmills back here that I could actually have these running at 256 so then it just pumps at max speed otherwise this is um, a really simple design I hope you like it and um, I'll see you in my next video